Hi, my name is Flight Lieutenant Marcus Ramsden and I'm going to give you a little bit of a talk around to explain why a red arrow is a red arrow. The jet is a 1979 Hawk T Mark I. So it was built by BAE Systems quite a while ago, but the team is still flying it. This is one of the founding jets that was delivered in 1979 and it's still flying today in 2018. It's powered by the Rolls-Royce Adore engine, the Mark 151 engine. It gives around 5,200 pounds thrust. The pilots love it because it's quite energetic and quite easy to fly but also the aircraft is very responsive and can adapt to how they want to fly it in formation. I'm going to walk you around the jet and point out some of the, the key parts that make it a Red Arrows aircraft and hopefully tell you a little bit more. So it was originally designed in the early 70s as a fast jet training aircraft. So as you'll see, there's two seats in the aircraft itself. There's one at the front and one at the back. So the instructor would used to sit in the back and the pilot would sit in the front and they'd use this aircraft when they were doing uh, fast jet pilot training. It's dual control, so much like your learning to drive car, so the instructor has dual control on both sides with the steering wheel and pedals, so it's exactly linked up so the instructor could take control if anything were to go wrong whilst the pilot's learning to fly. Inside the, the cockpit you can see it's really 1970s, so no GPS, no sat nav, no informatic system. This is raw flying, this is raw pilot skills. The pilot uses uh, the control column in the middle to fly the aircraft, moving the six si sideways to move the ailerons, and then underneath, deep underneath, where the pilot rests his feet are rudder pedals to move the, the rudder. As I mentioned, there's no funky sat nav or anything like that. The pilot uses uh, his raw piloting skills to get the aircraft in the correct place at the correct time. You can imagine the Queen would be very disappointed if the Red Arrows were late flying over for her birthday. The team prides itself on the accuracy and the excellence and makes sure they can fly over to the second. I'll show you some other modifications on the aircraft. So as I mentioned before, it's a BA Systems Hawk T1, uh, entered flying with the Red Arrows in 1979. Inside, deep buried inside the aircraft, so round about this area, is the Rolls-Royce engine. Rolls-Royce Adore 151. So the, the team operates it, it's a very reliable engine and uh, that gives the team the success. Top speed is 1.2 times the speed of sound, which is about 920 miles per hour. Range, 1,000 nautical miles. Thrust of the Rolls-Royce Adore engine is 5,200 pounds. Weight of the Hawk with the fuel is 5,700 kilos. There's a number of modifications that the team have done to the engine to give it a, a faster acceleration, and it means they can maneuver the aircraft better and quicker compared to a normal Hawk. So that's modification number one we have got a Rolls-Royce modification to make the aircraft more responsive. Number two, so normally there is a pod that sits underneath the center line of the aircraft. This aircraft's had the pod removed, but it is cleverly placed behind us. So for a normal Red Arrows display, they have five minutes of white smoke, a minute of red smoke, and a minute of blue smoke. Diesel mitts with red dye, which is stored at the front of the tank, gives red smoke. The central portion is white smoke, just plain diesel. And the portion at the back section is diesel mixed with blue dye, which gives blue smoke. All this pipework is connected up to the engine. And as I showed you before, pressing different buttons on the control column opens several valves, allows the diesel to fuel, and then comes out the back of the aircraft. The pipes are connected up to the pod. When the, the jet engine is operating, you can imagine lots of heat has been sent out the rear exhaust pipe. So this is burning probably around 550, 560 degrees. As soon as the pilot presses the button, diesel's fed out of these pipes, instantly vaporizes, giving the plumes of smoke. The pilot can enhance the amount of plume that's coming out by lowering the air brake. I'll just show you that here. This is the air brake, so by lowering the air, air brake increases the turbulence and weight vortices coming out to the back of the aircraft. It will reinvigorate the jet e-flux and give a big plume of smoke. The team has only once before displayed without red, white and blue 
and that was for when the Prime Minister, Indian Prime Minister, visited London. One of the other modifications that the Red Arrows aircraft has is uh, obviously a Union Jack. Lots of people can relate to the Red Arrows because when they were younger they visited air shows and saw the Red Arrows displaying and that's what inspired me to join the, the Royal Air Force. It's also what the, the Red Arrows pride themselves on doing now, being able to inspire the next generation, take the great British flag overseas, celebrating the great campaign and also promoting what's best about our British forces, so the Army, Navy and also the Royal Air Force. Please subscribe to our channel, there'll be plenty more videos to come about space. Thanks for watching and see you soon.